Hi folks, welcome back. In this video I'd like to uh, show you how I do hand turning of soft metals like aluminium, brass um, and even nylons. I'm doing it by hand on my homemade uh, woodwork lathe which I made to take metalwork parts like this three jaw and I've got a four jaw on the face plates etc. Um, and how I do it is uh, I just use a, a really sharp um, high speed steel um, this, this is actually a, a, wool, a wood turning wool gouge actually and uh, I was taught this technique by the old boys who are no longer with us and uh, I'll show you uh, a quick couple of minutes of how I quickly remove metal in this instance this is the, um, the counter bearing puller I'm, make it, I'm making another one to fit another size bearing and uh, I'll show you how I do it and it goes as follows so, I think we're in focus there, in line. Um, I've pre-marked it all out before, as I showed in the, the previous video. So basically, I, I turn it into a cone shape. And when they get to the nearly the finished size outer diameter, then I start to go straight using a, a square tool. So it's, it's quite easy to do, actually. This is how the old pulp tap pull boys and the ornamental turners did things sometimes by hand to finish off. You can re really quickly remove metal. It's rather surprising. You get a really nice finish as well. You get a mirror finish straight off the tool. So I'll go about halfway through. So that took a big cut that time. And then as I get to halfway point and I'll pick up a, a straight a straight tool this one's a square edge what you call a, a graver if you look in the Hulk's Apple ornamental turn it'll show you how to make these basically a diamond shape on the end and you use, use the very very sharp cutting points there to, to remove things from the square basis so I'll start there and I'll push in very gently and you can use this tool on multiple angles As you can see there, I've done a groove all two millimetre deep already, and uh, the skew chisel is also comes in handy as well. So you can actually use the, 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 the very corner of the chisel there and, and move, move in that direction. And you can really quickly remove metal. So as I approach my final diameter. I'd get out the calipers and uh, cut and measure, cut and measure till you got it absolutely perfect. And there's a few millimetres already removed. I can zoom in and you'll be able to see a bit better. You need a nice, steady, firm hand when you're doing it. how I do my hand turning. So I'll pause the camera there and I'll uh, go on to the next stages of how I make these pullers. I'm back in a tick. Off again. Now the next stage is to build the uh, counter holes. two count holes drilled 
I'm going to uh, cut these other bands all next but I'm going to leave this one um, until I get to do the final size for the middle so that it's, it's, it's still in a solid lump um, so that's the second stage and uh, so I'll go on to the bandsaw and do the next stage Second stage done. Well, the next stage is to drill the holes where the uh, the handles are going to fit. So I'll uh, pause the video and I'll show you how I do that without a milling machine. The next stage is to drill the holes for the two handles. How I do that is for these two, for these two handles, and to get them straight. What I do, I do it by eye. I've marked out the positions. There's one there and one there. What I do, I get an 8.5 which is the pilot drill for 10 mil tapping. Lock the chuck out and I'll go in at an angle to start with. until I get a, a nice pilot hole and then I start to straighten up well I know that's straight because I've got the chuck locked up in the on the indexer here so once I've got it to where I want it <coughs> all I'd simply do then is to drill lift the drill lift it to somewhere vertical like that and that'll be pretty close so now I've got that drilled bang on the line in the center and, and straight so from that stage I move on to the next stage which is doing it in the pillar drill so I'll pause the video again back in a sec next stage is to drill the two holes on a vertical plane I've actually drilled them in the lathe previously set my depth stop then set it all plumb now just plunge those two in ready for the uh, pilot hole to be tapping out to 10 millimeter that one and that one so they're i know they're perfectly level there now perfectly spaced centered And drill to the desired depth so that's the two um, the double handle side done as you can see there a very good angle they're all done to the depth and they'll be exactly exactly plumb so that's the next stage so uh, move on to the next stage in, in a couple more ticks that leaves the final central handle left to drill so we'll uh, square that up perfectly square on the line center pop the dot at the top and drill that last hole I'll do the same procedure when I come to tap it and uh, I'll put the tap in the drill and set the tap off 
so that it's perfectly square. Spot the tap over into the the chuck and then tap the holes and that's the, the thing complete. Um, so I'll show you it again. Two relief holes in this side where the single handle is. <coughs> then the double handles are on this side. So when you cut relief that, then relief that as I've done on the bandsaw. These two handles then close this side together once that side's cut. But I won't cut that until I've actually finalised the, the central hole. Um, but so that's basically how I do it. And uh, it doesn't take very long, maybe an hour, to do each one. And uh, you can do those holes there. Just start off at an angle, come up to a vertical, and then finish off vertical on the drill to get them perfect. So you can square everything up with the square in the in the vise. So that's how I make my uh, counter counterbearing hot pullers. Uh, you, could, you could name them. Because you heat them up and it, uh, put, place them over the bearing and uh, heats the counter bearing up and then you pull straight off with, with consummate ease they really they work really well like i say you can buy the ktm ones but not the honda ones so this one is for another for a yamaha so that's uh, just about all the pullers i'll ever need i would think but uh, if i need more just go on to ebay get some of these far end off cuts relatively cheap and uh, with a bit of uh, trial and error and a bit of time, you can make some good tools. So, um, as per usual, thank you everybody for watching. Take it easy. Bye for now.